Hey everybody, it's VJ. I went right into where my hair looked like, what it looked like. So, okay, if you can see, there's like a pink hue to my hair now, which I like. I'm like, I'm like happy about that. So now I want to get, I want to do it again because they say the more you use it, the more pink will deposit itself. Why are my roots all of a sudden looking dark though? It did do that. It did like where my roots were like totally white now they look much darker i don't know why i guess that's okay but anyway yeah not a ton yeah you can just see a little so next time it says it builds up so i'm i'm really looking forward to it building up and if you don't want it to build up you just stop using the conditioner it's like a conditioner uh shampoo together so i whoa. i feel guilty I made somebody feel bad today and I didn't mean to. What did I mean to? Uh, I'm telling you what, sometimes trying to live a chivalrous life is so hard. Because really what it comes down to is I was an asshole. And I don't often, you know, make my way down. Doesn't it seem like my silver or white has turned more silvery with the pink? Like, like it looks so much darker now. Maybe the pink is just a contrast. At first I thought it was like whiter and now I think it's darker. I don't know. I'm confused. But anyway, so when I tell you that I try to live a chivalrous life, what I mean by that is like I try to be honest. I'm a shit liar anyway. And um, so like if somebody asks me to lie, I won't do it. I just tell them straight up, no, I'm not going to lie. Like I won't go out and tell on you, but I'm not going to just like freaking lie to somebody like that's never gonna happen so stuff like that and that's easy because that's right here right up front but today I was in a situation where the owner of the company had and I had two different visions for what our Christmas party was gonna be like okay hold on Um, in my view, I thought it was going to be like a thousand dollars more for door prizes was the deal. And that was just me. Like that, I tried to estimate what we were doing with the money that was allocated. And my estimation was higher in my mind than what it actually was. And so then today, when we sat down and did it, I found myself going like, Oh, oh. Now, what purpose would that have been? Like, like this, this person is being very generous, like, in its own right. In its own right. Like, he is more generous than most people who run businesses nowadays. Or that I've heard. And that's not true. Like, I've heard of some places that give, like, unbelievable bonuses, like, astronomical, like, life-changing, year-changing bonuses. And then other times I've heard of people giving a turkey. So, you know, somewhere in between is where your boss or my boss or whoever's boss or owner fits, right? But in my world, I know the numbers. So in my world, I think my owner is pretty generous when it comes down to it. Like he gives bonuses. Everybody gives gets a Christmas bonus. Uh, everybody gets something, you know. It's not like an astronomical bonus, but um, you know, it's not anything to laugh at either. It's like a good bonus for some people, and these aren't jobs that are like super high-paying jobs and stuff like that. So, I mean, they're good jobs. They're steady jobs. They're jobs where, like, you get a lot of support and help from me and Kim and Carrie and, like, all the people that are behind it. So, I, at, right after I finished talking to you, he's like, that's okay, right? And I was like, yeah, 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 that's okay. And then, like, I hung up and thought about, like, the enunciation I had in my words and in my voice. And instantly I knew I had done the wrong thing. So I did write him um, 
a text, and I'm going to give them a call here in a little bit when I get off the, it's pouring rain, it's really nasty out, but that's what living a chivalrous life means, it means reflecting on the things that you do that can create emotion, negativity in someone else. And I don't want to be that person. I don't ever want to be the one that um, that says the backhanded compliment, you know, or the, I wish I could, I wish I could explain it, but I knew it instantly, and I think everybody does. I don't think I'm the only one. You can either you can either say to yourself, I'm going to give in to these feelings, these hollow feelings that make me feel like I control the other person in some way, because that's basically what it was. I went ahead and made him feel shitty because, or tried, I guess I tried to, and, it, and this is like so overt, it's like not like I said to myself, let me make him feel shitty, you know, that never happened, but... I knew the minute I hung up the phone, I said, oh, you didn't handle that very eloquently. You didn't handle that very classy. You, even though you said the right words, you left him with a stain, you know, and I could feel it. And, it, and you know, once you start living a chivalrous life, you will start feeling that, the pain of others, like feeling that you know the second you go off course you're like oh shouldn't have done that that was just me being an asshole and everybody's human everybody gets to be an asshole I mean everybody's human so I'm not above being an asshole but now that I've like run down this road, I almost want to write a book about this. Now that I have run down the road of chivalry and of honor and decided to make that, and that was a decision to make that my life's work, to bring that out of people, to try and bring it out to the people, to influence other people, to try and maintain that that righteousness within oneself like for the simple reason that when you recognize that you're not doing your best at this then ugh, look at the hair when you recognize that you feel it I felt it like in my bones I felt it like instantly I was like no I did wrong this is wrong like I went in the wrong direction so I sent him a text saying listen I want to apologize because that's chivalry. I want to apologize. I uh, I sent him a text right after I hung up because I was like, that was so wrong. Like I just felt it through my guts, and I was like, um, part of the other problem with this whole thing was he doesn't owe us anything. You know, he he pays our our paychecks. He doesn't owe me, owe anybody any money. It it was just. It was just the wrong thing on my my part to I don't know if I was trying to make him beef it up or I don't know if I was just trying to make him feel bad but either way because I don't really understand why I did it but I did do it and because of that I sent him a text afterwards and I said uh, I was like hi you know I don't I felt myself acting disappointed after you and I talked and I don't want you to think that I feel that way because I believe you're very generous and I do believe that he like it's a very personal place where we work it's not it's not the kind of place where like like we don't know each other's like problems and situations and stuff like that it's kind of close-knit and like it just was wrong it was just wrong so I told him like I'm really sorry I did not I I probably am lying I, and it's so hard but to get it right I need to get it right um, so I'm probably lying when I said I didn't mean to make you feel that way that wasn't a true statement either I think that what it was was I was disappointed because I had one vision of what this was gonna look like and then it was another vision that the truth 
to what I was promised was a different vision. So, at any rate, long story short, um, I did. I apologized and said, I'm sorry, you've been more than generous. Um, I have nothing to complain about. And uh, if I made you feel any sort of way, I apologize. And I apologize again. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. That was on me. It wasn't on you. And uh, that's, uh, so it wasn't him at all. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. And I thank him for that. And I feel like he's a hugely generous guy. When, when it comes to the holidays, like there's no one better than the owner of my company and my manager when it comes to that to those like like thanksgiving to new year's we are so good about that we we encourage people to create memories and that's what we do so at any rate long story short that's how i felt and i just wanted you to know that um yeah living a chivalrous life is not easy you have to be able to to like sequester yourself like what were you thinking what did you want out of that deal what were you trying for and frankly I think I was trying for more money for the girls not for me but it doesn't matter just because it wasn't for me doesn't make it any better you know you were not being fourth you weren't being uh, 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 what's the word is it forthright I, I, I feel like I was being deceptive on some level I feel like I was being like shady and I and I don't want that so sorry again and um and yeah just another lesson in life of how how you have to behave in order to to live this kind of life it's not easy mm. but every day we learn See you later. Bye. I gotta go get dressed. I gotta run to the store. You okay? You guys okay now? Sit. 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 Cutie pies. <laughs>